ASA firewalls, basic configuration, ASA 8.08.2, routing access lists, NAT. As you probably remember, we have to know how to set up ASA 8.2 and 8.3. That was a big change for Cisco. In this video, we are going to talk about ASA. I think it's running 8.0 or 2. It doesn't really matter. We will set up a router on a stick. We'll route between two VLANs. We'll add some access lists and NAT. That's the topology that I'm going to work with. You can ignore the second firewall that was for and will be for failover and some more advanced topics. I use this topology in many different places. Our main focus is on ASA 01, that is 5510. It is connected to a switch and a management PC. The outside range is 192.168.2.0. The inside range is 10.2.2.0. Our main focus is on router 1, which is a host that is inside, and router 3 is a DMZ host. Our objectives. First of all, ASA 5510 here. All I did, I assigned the IP address 192.168.2.1 and allowed ASDM. That's all I did. I can connect like that, nothing else. We have to pre-configure this interface, create a sub-interface for our DMZ, make sure it works, and then what we want to do, we want to allow Telnet to our DMZ router. Let me bring the ASDM for you. There we go. As you can see, uh, we are running 8.04, that's fine. ASDM is 6.1. ASA 5510, it means we have to create sub-interfaces to make it happen. I have this topology here. We can check that if we need. The first thing we have to do, we have to assign an IP address to the inside network. Make sure we can ping. Like that. Switch has been set up, nothing special on it. Access port, access port, access port VLAN 3, trunk. That's it. Native VLAN is VLAN 2 on F012. That's it. We go to configuration, interfaces. Let's assign IP address to this guy. It's inside 100, 10.2.2.1, that's our inside. That's fine. We've got inside and outside now. I'm connected to router 1, to remind you that's router 1. We should be able to ping our firewall now, 10.2.2.1, and we can ping it. Good. Now, let's take a look at our DMZ. We need to create a sub-interface for DMZ. We could create a sub-interface here as well. A lot of people do that that way. It doesn't matter here. That's DMZ. Let's give it 50. Let's verify. Yeah, looks good. Time to test. 
10.3.3.1. Yeah, it's working. I can ping my firewall. It is like a router on a stick, right? It means that I can route between my VLANs now. Will I be able to ping router 3 from router 1? Or maybe not ping. Uh, let's try telnet. Ping is really special. Let's try and telnet to router 3 from router 1. Let's test it then. I want to keep both Windows logs and my router 1. Telnet 10.3.3.11. Fair enough, I can connect to it. Why? Let's take a look. Thanks to this rule. From inside to any less secure networks, permit. Will I be able to connect from DMZ to router 1? Let's try. We'll show you the topology. From router 3, to router 1, from DMZ to LAN. Telnet 10.2.2.11. Let's make sure I can see the... I think I closed that. Let's just reopen it. Okay. Here. Yeah. Denied. What if you, let's say, you want to allow it? Of course, the idea for DMZ is not to allow anything. If you have to, then you will just add a rule here saying that DMZ should be allowed to access this or that. Because now it can access any less secure networks. What does it mean? It can ping the internet outside, right? Let's double check that. I should be able to ping my management PC. 192.168.2.102. And I cannot. Why? Well, I have not set up NAT yet, but uh, it's not denied because of this rule. Let's fix it then. NAT. Let's allow them to browse the internet. That's 8.0. It means we have another, a different style of NAT to create a dynamic NAT rule. We go here and we say that every time you go from, let's start from inside. You have to create a pool. We want to use the outside interface. That's for inside. Let's do the same for DMZ. DMZ That's a dynamic rule, yeah? Not overload on a router, if you wish. What about now? Hmm, still not good? Any ideas? ICMP, right, very good, you're screaming ICMP, ICMP inspection. We have to make sure that ICMP is going to be inspected. Okay, what about now? Now it's better. We can ping the internet. I always like to keep the... oh, it's here. It's open. Let's ping it again. Here we go. ICMP. I want to make sure it goes through the firewall. I know there is no other way around. Still, I like to check that. That's how you set up routing 
and not on ASA's pre 8.3, it means 8.0, two. so. What I want to show you now is how we can open a port and we said we would like to manage our DMZ router remotely using Telnet. What we're going to do, we will create two rules. First we will do PAT, port address translation, and then we will create a static NAT rule for it. Again, from this PC I want to Telnet to my DMZ router. There are two things we have to do. First of all, create a NAT rule and an access list rule. Let's start with that one. Let's start with PAT. What's the, what's the source? DMZ. Let's create a new object that is router3, 10.3.3.11. Remember it's 255, yeah? It's a host. We are going to the outside world. We'll use the IP address of our interface, yeah, because that's that's PAT. And here we want to use TCP port 23 for Telnet. That's the CLI. We go to access rules and here we have to allow it from let's just leave any if possible you should lock it down and of course never use telnet over the internet it's just an example here if that was 8.3 we would say oh go to this guy we will say that this is our outside interface and this is telnet you can put some description it's a good idea Okay. I am here. I am going to Telnet to this IP address and it should be forwarded by my ASA to DMZ router 3. 
Oops, that's that's a wrong window. Let's try again. Hmm. Ah, that's a wrong IP address. I was just it's not working. It should be of course two dot three. Telnet one nine two one six eight dot two dot three. Now it's better. Let's check the logs. As you can see here I was denied. This one was allowed one to one NAT. In this video I showed you how to set up an ASA running a code pre eight point three. In our case 8.0, we used ASDM to create an inside network, DMZ network. We allowed them to root, created dynamic paths, then a one to one NAT for our DMZ server, and we allowed Telnet from the outside world. Thank you very much.